Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I wanted to talk just kind of briefly about link statements in C Sharp and using them in Unity. I've done a blog post about it before, this one right here, where I just kind of go over some of the uh, link basics and you know some of the key things that you can use. But I wanted to do a video too and just kind of discuss it a little bit more and um, a little less rehearsed. So in this scene, I've just set up a basic player and two enemies that are spheres. And I just came up with like a mini hypothetical situation of I want to find the nearest enemy. This is a pretty simple solution or a pretty simple problem with a really easy solution. And I hit play and it's going to tell me that this guy is the nearest, right? So if I jump over here, enemy sphere one, which is that one, which is this guy, right? And if I move this over, you see it jumps over to enemy sphere the, the, the other one and I, I did this with a link statement just because it seemed like a good practical example but there are some good points I want to bring up to some issues that you can run into so first let's just go over the basics you need to have the using system dot link statement up top to use these but or else nothing's gonna work the IntelliSense won't show up and you won't be able to do this at all but let's take a look here. First, I'm just caching all the enemies in an array. This is just so that when I show you the garbage collection issue, this part is taken out of it. Find objects of type is only called once. Now in on enable, I'm calling find nearest enemy and I'm also just doing it in update. So my find nearest enemy method works like this. I take all enemies and then I use the link method here. I'm actually gonna just delete this. I use the order by. So if I hit period and I've had included the using system dot link you see there are a bunch of options here that aren't normally around so there's like where union to list to look up to dictionary to array take take while skip single select many reverse um, order by order by descending min max there's a lot there's you know it keeps going and going and going so the one that I'm using here is just the order by. So if I use order by, this is just gonna take these enemies, this array, and it's gonna give me a new array back that, or a new I ordered enumerable, which is a collection or an I enumerable of these things in this order. So if I wanna do order by, I just do order by, and then I create a Lambda statement. So I just use T as like the default. If you're not used to Lambda statements, um, What's going to happen here is that this code is going to do this check against everything in the enemies and this T will be the enemy. I could also just call this like enemy. Um, T is just really standard in most samples and most code that you'll see. So here I do enemy and what I'll do is vector three dot distance and I'll go from my position transform dot position and then we do enemy dot transform dot position. Now, one thing I like to do with link statements is usually I'll just kind of split them onto separate lines because they get so long, I don't want it to be a giant long line. Let's do all enemies, order by that. Then I'll do first, oh, I'm missing a uh, parentheses at the end. And do first or default. So what that's gonna do is return back the nearest enemy. It's gonna order all of them by the distance. So order by is lowest to highest and it's gonna go through, figure out the distance for everything, order them, and then return back the first one. Now first or default just means that if all enemies is empty or null, it's gonna return a null. If I did just dot first here, and all enemies was empty, I'd actually get an exception. So just do first or default, and then deal with the null in my own code somewhere. So like I said, this works. This is a great, easy way to sort and order things. Um, not so great in an update though. So I also, you see, I added it in an update and here I'm calling find nearest enemy and ordering it. So let's check out why that's bad in an update. Like I said, it's great. I, I use these things in like awake and start and any one shot things all the time. But in an update, if we take a quick look in the profiler and just sort by GC alloc, you can see that um, first or default, generates a bit of garbage, as does order by. In fact, as far as I know, all of the link statements generate a little bit of garbage. Now with normal C-sharp development, not a problem at all. In Unity, we all know garbage collection can be an issue. So if you're doing this, um, if this is a call that you're making on occasion, not very often, you know, it's every couple seconds or you know, at startup, especially at startup or scene load, 
link statements all over the place. But when it's in an update loop or something called very often, I'll avoid this, avoid using a link statement here just because of this garbage collection issue. Now, again, if you're on like high-end PC systems, probably doesn't matter. But if you're building for mobile or anything where garbage collection can be an issue, like mobile or consoles basically, then you gotta watch out for it. So I wanna go over a couple other um, cool link statement things that I like to use on occasion. So here I've created another method, just get n enemies, just to get a count. And this is just using return all enemies ordered by the same thing. And then here we use the take. So take will just return back the next x of a thing. So if I, if I have 10 of them there and I take five, I'll get the first five. If I have three of them there and I take five, I'll get those first three. So let's go over um, just a couple other different options that we have. So here, I'm just gonna do this in on enables. All right, so let's say we wanted to find all enemies that met some specific criteria. So if we want to get like, let's do var enemies with one equals, and we'll do all enemies dot where, and here we'll do t, again for our lambda, and t dot game object dot name dot contains, and a one in it. So what this will do is give me back an ienumerable or a collection of enemies where the name contains the string one in it. So if we looked at our project, that would be like this one right here, right? We'd get this one enemy back. Now, maybe not the most useful thing, but you can imagine you'd want to do something like where, here, let, let's go into the enemy class real quick and let's just give it a um, public int health with a getter and a setter. So maybe we want to do something where the health is greater than 100. We want to get back all enemies with health over 100. And then maybe we wanted to loop over those and do something to them. Or maybe it was like their damage is under some number, right? So again, this returns back an IE enumerable. And now if one thing that's important to note is that this execution won't happen until we try to do something with this list. So if we just do this, nothing's actually gonna happen. Like this statement will get ready, but no code will execute. Now to execute it, we have to actually access this thing and enumerate over it. So we could do something like for each bar E in enemies with one. Yeah, it, oops, there. So if we did something like that, this would execute right here, and then this would get filled in. Um, another way to do it would be to add something like to list at the end. This will force execution of our link statement right now. So it'll actually execute and do this check right now. So now this is important again because if we did something like our um, nearest enemies, so say we wanted to do enemies by distance, right? And then we did the order by and we did the, the distance thing. So we did vector three dot distance, transform dot position, comma, t dot transform dot position. So if we did this, right here, let me split this into more lines. And then we waited. So say we did this and we never actually ran this code. In fact, if we did like, a, did this, this, I, so I've generated a field of these enemies and assigned it right here, it's not actually gonna run this distance check until we access this. So if I did my accessing somewhere in update, the position where they were for in on enable doesn't matter. It's gonna be executed down here if I did like um, dot first or default, right? Like this call would run and give me back the nearest one. So hopefully that makes, oh, I missed the semicolon. That's the, the error there. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. It's just deferred execution. This doesn't run until it's actually used. So let's go over just a couple other ones and then I'll wrap this up. So there's order by, um, other ones that I really like are like max. So you can do like a max of t, t dot health. And what this is gonna do, it's actually gonna return back the, um, the one with the most health. So here, let's, oh, sorry, I'm missing a bar right there. So there we go. So this is gonna return back the, oh, sorry, it's not the one with the most health. It's gonna return back the max value of the health. I said that wrong. So this uh, this will actually be an int, and it'll be max 
HP. So this would go through all of the enemies and give me the maximum health of all of them. So let's just quickly talk about a couple of other ones. So like there's a max, there's also a min, just again returns the minimum. There's order by descending. So just like we did order by, this will just do it in the reverse order. There's even a reverse, which will just take the collection and reverse it, which is a nice, super simple trick. If you've ever had to write a reverse before, like, yeah, it's, it's nice to not have to do that anymore. Um, so let's see, what's another really good one? Group by is amazing and great and uh, used with two dictionary a lot. So if you have a big collection of things and you want to create a dictionary of them by some shared key, um, that works great. It's just automatic, kind of magical. It, the syntax is a little bit confusing though. And then maybe um, distinct. So if you have a collection of game objects and there are multiple of the same object in that collection or just a collection of anything and there are multiple of that same object in there you can use distinct to just return back the distinct ones in there so say i had like a list of 10,000 numbers and i just want to get all the unique numbers out of there i can just call you know all numbers like i had um like list of int numbers equals new list of int like five six five four Whatever. something like that I can do numbers dot distinct uh, bar distinct here just like that and then this would give me back this list with only a single five in it basically so again a good way to just filter things out so if you're not using link stuff um, you probably should be again there are some caveats you definitely want to be really careful with um, mobile stuff or console games just because garbage collection can kill your game but if you're not doing that or you're careful and you just use it in things that aren't called often, again, like I said, loading, initialization, stuff like that, huge, huge help. And it simplifies. And I think in general, if you're used to link statements, it makes the code a lot, e lot easier to read. So I don't know. I hope this is helpful. Um, I know it's a bit long and rambly, just kind of talking about something that I use a lot and... Um, I don't know if a lot of other people are really using link as much as they should be. So again, hope it helps. Um, if you like the video, again, don't forget to like and hit subscribe and just let me know if you want to see more stuff about features like this or if you want to see something totally different, just drop a comment below. Thanks.